Green. Virginia is now one of the top states in the country to receive treatment for spinal injuries. That's because of a new partnership now between three medical centers, VCU Health, the VA Hospital, and the Sheltering Arms Institute. They're getting a $2.2 million federal grant to conduct cutting-edge spinal cord injury research right here in the Richmond area. New at 11, Adriana Woko joins us live now to explain what this means for people suffering from these types of injuries. AJ? The partnership and grant means that people suffering from serious spinal cord injuries or brain injuries don't have to leave the state in order to get the very best care. Move, feel, nothing. It was a bike crash, 4th of July 2020, that would significantly alter Jackson Collins' life. I was at Belle Isle and I crashed. I landed on the top of my head. An injury that left Collins almost completely paralyzed, with little hope of regaining mobility. People were telling me, like, you know, this is not even a possibility. That was until Collins went to the Sheltering Arms Institute, which provided him with state-of-the-art spinal care and technology. Try to push through this leg. With miraculous results. You gain a lot of the sensation. And within the first week, I went from lying in a bed, not being able to eat, talk, speak, or move or feel anything to being able to move around the power chair. I was able to kind of flicker my feet a little bit by the end of that week. You know, I thought they did miracles here. I mean, I still do. Jackson was one of the Institute's first success stories. And thanks to a new partnership, there will be countless more. Sheltering Arms, along with VCU Center for Rehabilitation and the VA Hospital, have partnered to create a spinal cord injury care, a rare designation that the Institute CEO, Alan Lombardo, says will bring with it a $2.2 million federal grant for cutting-edge spinal cord injury research. And this patient population specifically requires a community to come together to care for it in order to get the optimal outcomes and really return them to the highest possible function. It also means partnering with organizations to bring more treatment options to patients wherever they are. United Spinal's role within that uh, is being able to provide a community resource for the patients as they transition home after their discharge from inpatient rehab. The designation makes Virginia home to one of only 14 spinal cord injury model systems in the U.S. Folks no longer have to leave the Richmond area to, to get that care, which is traditionally what some families, patients and their families have had to do. That $2.2 million grant will be distributed over the next five years. I have more information on this partnership on our news app. For now, on your side in Richmond, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12.